Good morning. morning. Solemnity of Christ the King today. Do you say this on your own? Or have others told you about me? Jesus said to Pilate in answer to his question, Are you the King of the Jews? This Gospel of the Solemnity of Christ the King brings us to the scene of the trial of Jesus. So Jesus appears in court. Coincidentally, this week, our entire nation has been following, scene by scene, uh, the process of the trial of one person. I found it fascinating, and I learned a lot on how a trial is conducted. All the pieces of the puzzle, the judge, the attorneys, the jurors, made me think a lot that now that I am an American citizen, I can be called any time for jury duty. And you know what that means, right? What an awesome and frightening responsibility. So I learned a lot this week, but especially that a trial is not the trial of an agenda. It's the trial of a person, a real person. Anyways, so the Gospel of the Solemnity of Christ the King centers our attention on Jesus who is on trial. So Jesus appears in court. And it's interesting that even though Pontius Pilate is the one playing the role of the judge, Jesus is the one that asks the questions. Jesus has complete control of the conversation. And so Jesus is making his case. Are you saying this on your own, Pontius Pilate? Who is manipulating you? Whose puppet are you? Own your words. Take ownership of your role. Be a man, Pontius Pilate. Don't wash your hands. Stay the truth and live in that truth. Not what others told you about me, but own your words. If you question me about being the king of the Jews, own your words. Are you saying this on your own, or have others told you about me? Jesus said to Pontius Pilate. So this ever ancient question that cut through the heart of Pontius Pilate should also cut through our heart, your heart, my heart, each and every one of us individually. When we say that Christ is the King, are we saying this on our own or because others told us about Him? Of course, our belief in Jesus is in direct relation to what we have been told about Him. This is what in the Catholic faith we call the Scripture and tradition. Our faith doesn't just come from the sky. It doesn't come from the void. It comes from a reality, from somewhere. It comes from the fact that others have told us about Jesus. We have been told about Jesus in the scriptures. We have received the faith from our families, from our parishes, from the Catholic cultures in which we have been raised up, some of us from the Catholic education that we have received. As a child, my mom got me a pictorial Bible, so different scenes of the Bible, with very few words, because I didn't know how to read, my sisters tell me. And so, page by page, she will show me the story of Jesus. I got to love him because of her. Have others told you about me, Jesus said to Pontius Pilate. If I were to answer, I would say yes. My mother, my father, my brother, my family, the Dominican priests of my home parish as a child, the Vincentian priests of my Catholic school years, they all have told me about Jesus, and I am grateful for the faith that I have received from all of them. And I am sure that all of you can relate to this because our faith doesn't come from the void, it comes from somewhere, and most likely came from your families and for the way that each and every one were raised. But eventually we have to own 
the faith of our ancestors. If eventually, we have to make the transition from what others told us about him to what we ourselves say about him. We have to own it. Do you say this on your own or have others told you about me? Jesus asked Pontius Pilate. Cultural Catholicism is over, folks. It's over. Catholicism by osmosis is over. Catholic ghettos and neighborhood parishes in which everyone is Catholic because that's what everybody does. That's over, folks. It's over. We have to own our faith, each and every one of us, not just because others told us about him, but because we know this about him. Own your faith. If we say that Christ is the King, we must say it on our own, and not just because others have told us about him. If you want to remain Catholic, you have to own it. Own your word. Own your faith. Make it yours. Because cultural Catholicism is over. There is only one way to the future, which has always been the only way, discipleship, being disciples of Him in the church. Not because Mama told you, not just because Grandpa instilled the faith in you. We are grateful to them. But it's about time for each and every one of us to own it. And we have to own our faith because just like Jesus stood trial, you and I eventually will also stand trial. We will stand in the courtroom. We call that the final judgment. That awesome and frightening day. It will be a trial not of an agenda, it will, will not be the trial of cultural Catholicism. It will be the trial of a person. And that person is you and me. We'll stand also like Jesus in front of the judge, the just judge. On that day, there will be no chance for us to wash our hands like Pontius Pilate. We will instead need to be washed by the blood of the Lamb. Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me, Jesus said. So it's time to own our faith, to make it ours. In the church, be a disciple. Remain a disciple and speak about Jesus on your own. It's the only way forward. Amen.